А зараз для мене велика честь представити наступного промовця, який доєднується до нас з Києва. Президент Зеленський, вам слово. Prime Minister Jakob's daughter, dear Catherine, thank you for invitation to participate in the summit of our Council of Europe and for your sincere desire to help Ukraine. Dear leaders of Europe, today Ukraine went through a difficult challenge, an intense Russian missile attack. Such challenges are what we all have to Pay attention to now. At three o'clock in the morning, our people woke up to explosions. 18 Russian missiles of different types were in our sky in particular. Ballistic ones, which the terrorist state has boasted about. We were told such missiles would bring a guaranteed death because they are supposedly impossible to shut down. Russia used ballistics, cruise missiles, drones at the same time to make it especially difficult for our defense to save lives. But all lives were protected. All missiles were shut down, including ballistic ones. 100%. This is a historical result. Thank you all. Russia is trying very hard to improve its ability to kill. We are trying very hard to improve the protection of our people. And I thank all the countries and leaders who help us to improve our air defense. Altogether, we are showing what our 100% mean and what the power of the free world means. And of course, I thank every our soldier who makes this job done in our skies and on a land. And especially I thank each and every who trains our warriors in different train missions, which are all similar in one point in success. Thanks to all of them. Thanks to all of you. A year ago, we were not able to shoot down most of the terrorist missiles, especially ballistic ones. And I'm asking one thing now. If we are able to do this, is there anything we can't do when we are united and determined to protect lives? The answer is that we, in unity, will give 100% in any field when we have a goal to protect our people and our Europe. And of course, there is still much to be done. Ukraine's territory is big, and to make air defense results like last night's the rule throughout the country, we need additional air defense systems and missiles. We also need modern fighter jets, without which no air defense system will be perfect. And I am sure we will get there. 100% should be our benchmark. We must leave 0% to the aggressor. 100% of success of defense operations is guaranteed by weapons and training of our soldiers. And I thank everyone who strengthens our defense. 100% of success of sanctions is guaranteed by honesty in every state policy. And I'm grateful to all those who threat the fight against terror in this way, honestly. 100% of success of our peace formula is guaranteed by diplomacy, and I thank everyone who helps us unite the world to implement the peace formula, the only realistic peace plan, and of course, 100% of justice. And there will be no reliable peace without justice. And I thank the Council of Europe, each and every of you personally, for the decision of the register of damages caused by Russia's aggression. This brings closer 
the creation of a full-fledged compensation mechanism that will show the world that aggression is not worth even thinking about. There should also be a special tribunal for the crime of aggression, so that those whose heads this terror was born in are brought to responsibility, and I'm sure that we will provide this result for 100%. Europe has been waiting for such times, times when leaders would act in 100% unity and with 100% results for the sake of protecting Europe, for the sake of our common values. And finally, this is what we are achieving now. Ukraine, all of Europe and everyone who is currently at this summit and who helps us, we are Europeans, so we are free. We are Europeans, so we value peace. We are Europeans, so we act at 100% of our strengths when it comes to protecting our way of life. Let this be forever the rules of our continent. Thank you for support. Slava Ukraini. Glory to Europe.